There are places where time flows at its own pace. Places where history is still vivid. Where past events blend with those of the present. Places that look beyond time and where we hear echoes of the past. Such is Vesterplatte. On September 1st, 1939, the Second World War began on Vesterplatte. Vesterplatte became the scene of momentous events. About 200 Polish soldiers, following their duty to fight the enemy, held out for seven days defending this tiny piece of Polish soil. Today, those moments seem distant to us, but at Vesterplatte, they come alive. Because places such as Vesterplatte can tell stories that still ignite imagination. Listen to the wind on Vesterplatte and you will hear the echoes of the explosions and the calls of the soldiers. The ruins still remember the firing rifles, the screams of the dying. Even today, the memories of those dramatic events come flooding back. The map of Vesterplatte, often called the Polish Thermopylae, has not changed much over the years. Sadly today, Vesterplatte's poor condition does not give justice to its dramatic history. During the battle, only a few buildings were entirely destroyed. When the fighting ceased, Polish prisoners, under the supervision of German soldiers, dismantled most of the depot's buildings. The post-war communist authorities continued the work of destruction. Vesterplatte was gradually deteriorating and over the years has changed beyond recognition. The breakthrough moment came when archaeological research started in 2016, the first comprehensive research in the post-war history of Vesterplatte. The unique artifacts that have been unearthed are a tangible trace of the past, a missing piece of the puzzle in Vesterplatte's history. At the Museum of the Second World War in Gdańsk, we understand that history is more than just a tale of yore. So we've come up with a comprehensive plan to renovate the relics of the depot. A plan that will restore dignity to Vesterplatte, as was the wish of the surviving defenders. We also understand that glorious history must look into the future and speak to all generations, time and again. By restoring the historical tissue of the depot, we will be able to relive its history yet again. Vesterplatte still has a lot to tell. The new arrangement of the former depot's area should merge the historical narrative with the needs of the modern tourist. If history is to teach, it should reach out to those who want to hear it. The Vesterplatte battlefield is a landmark of international importance, and the vision of its future must meet the strict criteria of an outdoor museum. Plans include extensive changes and certain renovation activities, reconstruction of selected historical objects, conservation activities all across Vesterplatte, creation of modern exhibition, cultural, and education spaces, reconstruction and replanning of the depot's historical pathway layout, and finally, building infrastructure that would meet modern standards. We wish to breathe a new spirit into the historical framework. Places like Vesterplatte need a vision for the future. History will always speak out loud, but it is up to us whether we heed its voice. Learn more about the past the present and the future of Vesterplatte.